Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you guys my project I've been working on a little bit. Um, it's called, uh, it's not called anything, it's just, it's a tic-tac-toe game. Uh, I use socket programming to add uh, somewhat of a networking side to it, um, and I wanted to showcase that today. So what we have here, the screen you're seeing right now is called uh, as the server, basically, the server window, if you were to create a server. Um, but basically it just like has some menuing tools, and that's about it. You can't see that for some reason, but there's like some options here. Um, so, basically what you can do is you can create a server. I haven't actually made that yet, but I ha finally have the actual um, somewhat playable client side working. So, say we have a client right here, um, and this is just the title screen, so quick play. Uh, oops, wrong one. There we go, quick play. And then it just brings you here and says select a server. This is the only server on here, and you can already see the getting information on the server screen. So we click that. And now we are getting a screen to click which team. I want to be blue, so I'll click blue. And now we're getting an actual game. So this reset button doesn't actually do anything yet. Um, we're probably just going to get rid of it just because we don't really need that. So I'm blue, so I'm going to play top left. And I can't click anywhere else. Um, so I have to wait for another person to join the server. Um, so we have another client here. Uh, up here at the top. They join the game. And they want to join the same server. You can't see that. But here we go, we have a... Uh, We have the menu screen, the team, and one side's full, blue is full because we picked that. So I go in red. Now as you can see, we can um, see my play already. So I'm going to go there. Uh, and I'm going to move there. As you can see, it gets transferred to the client by the server handlers. Uh, as When the server starts, basically use a while loop and you start new threads for each client that actually accepts the network through sockets so and that means you can basically set up threads for each client and handle different requests and that's what I did um, I can show you that actually real quick not that here we go. This is the actual thing running, so it's probably why it looks so bad. Um, but as you can see, let me just close all this out. Here's our classes right here. Here's the actual thing running. It's printing out a bunch of stuff, but you can ignore that. So you can see this is our, uh, our server right here. Uh, when it starts, it does this. So it executes this thread because we don't want it running in the main thread because if it doesn't actually accept a client it's going to stop the thread so we don't want that actually stopping the program um, but basically it accepts a client it, it waits for a client to actually accept that's why it's a, a while true because it can accept a different indefinite amount of uh, people even though it should be two um, but it goes with the specified port and then it creates a new client handler for the client that it accepted as well as the server itself it, it executes a new thread um, and then if you go to client handler this is where all the magic happens so basically this is just a thread the run method is right here and what this does is it gets it goes through all the uh, it takes in a request from a client so I give an example. Let's see. Here we have a client writing a request to get the board. As you can see right there. Um, uh, and then 
with the switch case basically going through each each value of that request and checking what kind of what kind of request it is. So get info, it does this request, disconnect player does that, add player does that. Um, and if there's no special caches, then it actually calls a fulfill request method, which is in the server request class. And this is just has another switch case for the less uh, less intensive task or um, tasks that don't need as much attention. Like get board, check players. You really only you're really only returning one object. And that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Just wanted to show you guys that. Uh, that's pretty much it.